first edition on Chappie TV. Thanks, Cody. You might observe we're practicing proper social distancing. This is going to be our first episode of Full Stop Online. Welcome, everyone. Great to see you all. And welcome back. Good to see you're still here. So this term, we have been looking at real people from the Bible that are flawed. Gideon, Ruth, Moses. We've seen over and over through their real life stories that they were flawed in character, their life circumstances were flawed, their faith journeys were flawed, some of the choices they made were flawed, and yet God did not leave them. He did not forsake them. He did not forget them and he didn't give up on them. And one thing that I know, the Bible says, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he didn't give up on them or forsake them or forget them, he's not going to do that with you either. The Bible says that we are all flawed. In Romans 3.23, it says, For everyone has sinned and we all fall short of God's glorious standard. You might note that our flawed banner has three nails at the end of the word flawed, and there's a reason for that. We are all flawed, and yet God still wants to be in relationship with us. He still wants to be connected with us. Now, at the moment, we've all been asked to socially distance from our friends, our extended family. We're not to do anything we don't need to do or go anywhere we don't need to be. I'm an extrovert. I enjoy people. I enjoy my friends and family. I like hugs. So this is actually really difficult for me. And all of those things are part of how I feel connected to other people. A few weeks ago, my mum and dad returned from overseas and they were in self-isolation. And I had to take some groceries over to them, just the essentials, you know, ice cream, chocolate, all the things you need when you're in self-isolation. And it was really hard. I had to talk to them through their locked back door and their locked screen windows. And it was terrible. I felt really sad. They were there, but we weren't connected. I felt like we were disconnected. I wanted a deeper connection, but because of the Rona, as we call it in Australia, I couldn't do that. So God has created us to be in relationship with him. And like the coronavirus has temporarily disconnected us from other people and from each other, our sin separates us from God. That needs to be taken care of so that we can be in right relationship with him and be connected with him. That's why Easter is such good news. It's awesome news because we can't get rid of sin on our own. So at Easter, we celebrate that God took care of that by sending Jesus to die for us. Now, kids, this won't hurt a little bit at all. Not one little bit. Now, we've been talking about how we've got a sin problem. Oh, got to disconnect the tap there. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration of that. So we've got some black paint here. Oh. All right. Shake it up. There we go. Now, this black paint is like our sin and also doubles as a proper hand washing technique for you because it's very important during COVID-19 that we wash our hands correctly. So... This represents our sin. And do you know what? We hear people say all the time, the blood of Jesus washed our sin away. What does that actually mean? It means Jesus died so you didn't have to. And so, here we go. Proper hand washing technique for you. Very important at the moment. Representing our sin. Now, here's what Jesus did when he died on the cross for you. Nothing you can do to take your own sin away. Not one thing. But when Jesus died, he washed all that sin away for you. He took care of that sin problem, so you don't have to. He loves you. He wants to connect with you. He wants to see you spend eternity with him. And that's how this is even possible because of Jesus' sacrifice. And there you have it. Wash with the blood of Jesus, clean. So I remember at Easter time that Jesus is our cure for sin. He died and rose again and he lives. 
And because of that, we can be connected to God for all eternity if we want to be. So as you celebrate Easter, which I'm sure for a lot of us, Easter is not going to look how it usually looks. Be encouraged, be excited, be joyful. Remember that there is nothing you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you, full stop. Now, Cody's going to close in prayer for us. Let's bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord, uh, thank you that we can look up to you through this troubling time. Pray that you'd be with us all through this and help us stay safe um, and get through it. Uh, in your name, amen. Amen. Okay, it is a happy day. Easter is a happy day. And so you know where I'm going with this, don't you? I know you do. So go and find a clip of happy day, get a CD. Find it on Spotify, however it is you can get it. Get a hold of Happy Day. Get your praise and worship on because I know you want to. It's a happy day. Uh, oh, happy day. Happy day. You wash my sin away and oh, happy day. Happy day. I'll never be the same. Oh, actually, I think you guys got that. I'll never be the same. Forever I am changed. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. It is a happy day. Easter is a time to celebrate. Jesus died and he rose again. He took care of that sin problem for you and for me. And so let's celebrate. Be encouraged. And do you know what? I'd love to encourage you in this as well, that this is only temporary. Our distance from each other is only temporary. It's not forever. It's just for now. So be encouraged. See you soon. Shout out to Gary for being here today. Shout out to Cody.